Then adjustment layers. Now this is a fantastic addition to the focus tool set. Let me find uh, an area we can work on to show you uh, that a little bit more in detail. I'm going just to zoom out a little bit. So now with the um, focus software, we have the ability to use adjustment layers. And that is working on adjustment layers on the raw file and making adjustments to the images before we export them to our final designated 16-bit TIFFs or whatever uh, you want to export them as. So let's take a look at the adjustment uh, layers. So the first thing I would need to do is say, I want to create a new adjustment layer. So I click add layer with the plus button and then I decide what I want to do. So let's say for instance, I want to make the orange in here a little bit darker. I can choose minus the exposure value and then I can choose a brush tool and I can adjust the size of the brush using um, the size command here. And I can also adjust the flow rate and the amount of feathering of the brush as well. That's the softness, if you like, of the edge of the brush. So I've basically decided I wanna make this orange darker for this um, example. So I'm gonna run my brush over here now you can see the feathering is a little bit too strong there. It's a little bit too harsh. I'm just gonna run that around, see if I can do it. It's actually probably gonna work out okay. I just uh, I went slightly into the blue area, but you can now see that I can now manually adjust and uh, correct or even brighten that area uh, to suit my taste afterwards. So you're not fixed in stone, the initial setting that you put in for that particular brush. You can apply it uh, you can apply it and then you can uh, adjust it afterwards as well. Uh, it's not only the exposure that you can adjust, you can adjust the sharpness, you can adjust the saturation, you can adjust a number of different things at the same time and you can turn it on and off to see the look that you've created. Now in addition to that you can create another adjustment layer, so now we have layer two visible, I can reduce layer one there. Now layer two, I can apply a different brush to work on a different area. So if I wanted to increase, for example, the saturation on uh, the blue in the background or change the uh, brightness or um, details of one of the other areas, I can do that on a separate adjustment layer. And you can keep adding more and more adjustment layers. There's also um, additional adjustment layers for things such as the radial gradient as well, which is quite interesting. So in this instance, I'm going to apply a vignette. So I'm going to create uh, a lower exposure value, but instead of using the brush tool this time, I'm going to use the radial gradient. And I'm going to say, right, I want to gra drag a gradient out to this particular area like so and then I can adjust the exposure up and down. Now you can see that the exposure is darker in the middle, but if I click the invert checkbox, then it adjusts it. And I can also feather that gradient out there considerably there so that I create a softer vignette. And then I can now move on to a new um, adjustment layer. So now I'm on to layer three if necessary. I can close that one up, I can go back to layer two, I can go back to layer one, and I can go back into layer one, and I can change that brighter, or I can change it darker. So I still have all of the control uh, that I want with my adjustment layers independently um, uh, and continuing forwards. And again, with the tick box at the top, you can actually uncheck all of them to see the difference before and after. Additional to that, we also have the viewing of the mask. So if I just go back to layer one a moment, I'm gonna turn layer two off. I'm just going back to layer one. I'm going to click the mask um, option to show the mask. And there you can see it shows me the area where I've made adjustments, quite clearly identified by um, seeing it with the mask. So that covers most of the uh, adjustment layer features. Um, we'll now move down to the bottom part of the focus interface.